Hello, looters. Sir Anderson here, your arena number one and clucker in chief, coming back at you for another Mighty Quest video today. Now, I've been asked by the good folks over at Ubisoft to put together a beginner's guide for all of you new looters out there, and that is coming out very soon. On Tuesday, on launch day, we'll have a big, very detailed guide to Mighty Quest. But for now, I thought it'd be cool to go over a few of the basic game modes to start. Every new looter will start over here on Adventure. This is the tutorial level. Now, this is, for people who've done this, it's, it's nothing anymore. But this can seem a little daunting at first because it takes a little bit of time to get through. Uh, I'd like to take you through it and talk about a few of the things Mighty Quest has to offer, for starters. So first thing in Mighty Quest you'll realize is that there are gear. There is lots of gear. This is a dungeon style hack and slash RPG and um, with lots of loot to get. You will not have it as easy as a time as I'm having right now with level one, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty well equipped. So, let's talk, get back to talking about gear. There are three types of gear in Mighty Quest. First, your blue common gear. There's your green set gear. And your orange epic gear. Blue common gear will come and go, but it is absolutely necessary to your progression in the game. Do not be afraid to try to find ways to level that up and move forward with it. Green set gear is next, and these will give you blessings. Two pieces of green set gear will give you a blessing. Five pieces of set gear together will give you an even greater blessing. And then there's epic gear. This is the cream of the crop, the top of the top. Epic gear doesn't need any other gear to give you a blessing. One piece is enough. I'll show you what I mean here on my looter in just a minute. But those are your basic gears. Blue, common, green, set, and orange, epic. You will come across all of these on your adventure. And trust me, it is worth it. So just to give you an idea, you can see a lot of green on my character here. Let's go over uh, blue common gear first. So here's a piece of common gear. Feral helmet. Everybody gets one of these. The mite's pretty low. It has four stars and poison duration, and there's two ruin slots down here you can see. Ruins are a completely different bag of worms. You'll be able to get those later on. We'll talk about where you can get those in just a few minutes. But they also allow you to boost the might of your gear. So blue common gear, green gear looks like this. Now you can see I have two ruins equipped in that. They are six star max. If this gear has more abilities, it is much stronger, and it also has those blessings I was talking about. Right now, I have two pieces of Handel's uh, gear equipped, which allows me to have Rearm Thunderstrike, which cools down Thunderstrike, or makes Thunderstrike's cooldown uh, reduced by 25%. If I had the full five piece on, I would get Sparkling Thunderstrike, which then changes the ability entirely, and then the lightning that comes down from Thunderstrike will spread to nearby enemies, making the AoE even bigger. And finally, Epic. This is my epic sword I'm using right now. It's called the First Mutineer. And by itself, you can see it's very strong. Two ruin slots as well. And it has the ability Anchorage. It does not require any other uh, piece of gear to have this ability. It just does it on its own. On kill, an 85% chance to hook nearby enemies. You saw in that tutorial level that those ch poor chickens were getting a few anchors to the face. And that was all this bad boy right here. All right, so those are the castle modes, adventure mode in Mighty Quest. Everybody starts in that tutorial, slug through it, get th get through it, and uh, then you can start playing the real game after that. So the next mode is trials. There are a few different trials, and one that's not currently on this list, which we'll talk about last. But first, there's the promote stone trials. Now, the uh, promotion stones are what you need to upgrade your gear to the next star level from... Uh, two or from one to two to three to four to five, which is the max right now. You get different promote stones depending on the day. So today is Sunday, therefore we have access to all of the promote stones. Pretty cool, right? Sunday is like the free for all day where you get to pick which ones you really want. On Monday, you get shield promote stones. Tuesday, you get armor. Wednesday, you get weapon. Thursday is shield again. Friday is armor. And then Saturday is weapon. So keep that in mind. All this information I'm spouting out right now can be found, by the way, on the um, subreddit on reddit.com uh, r slash 
Mighty Quest Mobile if you want to find some more information about this. But I also, like I said, will have a very detailed guide for you guys if you want to wait for that on Tuesday. Next is Gold Castle. Oh, by the way, Promote Stone Castles kind of work like a wave format. You go in, uh, a few waves of enemies come up. It's pretty easy. It's not that bad. You can beat it on several different um, difficulties as well. So you start on Castle 1 here, and then you can work your way up to Castle 10, getting more stones along the way as you level up. Gold Castle, same idea, but this is more of like uh, the adventure style uh, of castle, like we played just now. Uh, this will take you through a castle, and it works on might level, so you start down on 3,000. You earn less gold, of course, on Castle 1, but once you get up to Castle 10 here, uh, 850,000 might, you get the most gold. On the bottom here, you can see you get uh, from 108,000 to 132,000 gold. So it is worth raising your might to get these high level resources. One of the things too I tell almost all new players is your first mission is to get to level 30. Once you level up, you have access to all of these things and you'll be able to start increasing your might accordingly so you can uh, max out your return on these trials as well. Fire Delirium offers you some pretty great rewards. I've already earned mine all this week, but you can see as you scroll th down here, you start lower uh, with, you know, five keys for opening chests, some gold, some upgrade, upgrade orbs, which are used to upgrade your gear, much better than infusing gear with other gear. Keys, raid tickets, which are another type of currency, which allow you to auto-complete a castle once you have beat it. Um, upgrade orbs, more keys, keys, keys. Orbs, raid tickets, and big orbs. Big old six-star orbs up there, which will max out even the uh, the strongest of gears. So let's take a look at Nature Fever. I still have some trials left in this. This will give you an idea of what these kind of trials look like. Nature Fever, for instance, has some more rewards. They have epic keys, which will help you open the biggest and best chests. Uh, also, gold rewards here. You can see you can get some gear from these trials, as well as diamonds. Diamonds is the actual... Um, currency in-game that you can purchase with real money. That's all over in the shop. We aren't going to get into that today. And Water Fever, let's get to that too real quick, is arguably one of the most important trials because it gives you these beautiful things over here. Ruins. We talked about those just briefly, but these will take you from, you know, a mighty looter to the mightiest looter. But now let's take a quick look at Nature Fever. I'm going to go right to the top here to the root of all evil. I'm going to click the set button over here to switch to my full nature set. And let's jump in and take a quick look. These are all wave based. They're pretty simple. Uh, shouldn't be any problem as long as you are at the appropriate might level for your character. You won't be able to jump into Castle 10 uh, right away. Now, remember how I was talking about those blessings earlier? Let's see if we can get one to trigger with Thunderstrike. Ah, uh, we kind of missed. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's run away from these chickens. Oh no, don't, no, chickens, please! I'm your friend! I'm Clucker in Chief! All right, oh no, here we go. This is gonna be bad for the chickens. You ready? Ooh, they didn't like that, did they? Now, this sword I have is called the Primal Storm. Its blessing is called Chain Slashes. On hit, it can trigger slashes to nearby enemies. Now, do you see the thunder dancing around? Yeah, that was the ability of the full handle set. A five piece set here coming together. Each character can also have three abilities. Uh, three, three, one, two, three. Three abilities. Right now, I'm using the ability Frenzy gives you a buff. Black Hole, which you saw, which attracts enemies towards the center. And Thunder Strike, which rains down thunder from above. So, just obliterate your enemies. Now, the final mode in Mighty Quest is my personal favorite. Well, let's go. Oh, look at our rewards. 40 diamonds. I'll take 40 diamonds. Some raid tickets. Not going to get those today. Going to need more points for that. So, Let's get back to this. The final mode in Mighty Quest is Arena. My favorite mode. We're going to switch our gear up again to my Arena set. Now, Arena is a one-minute combat arena where you fight three enemies, and they are bots. Let's just get that out of the way right away. They are bots. They have gear based on your might level. 
They are scaled to you, so they are a challenge at all times. Right now, I'm number one. Um, they have a great ranking leaderboard over here, too. As you can see, Sir Randerson, number one. Um, but yeah, Arena, let's just jump in and maybe I can tell you a little bit about it as we go. So yeah, you fight four bots, they have gear matched on your might. You can see right here, that's all of their armor. All of theirs is in green, just like mine to, you know, match me, more or less. To make it a challenge. So, every kill in Arena grants you a point. Players will automatically respawn after you kill them. And they'll have a slight moment of invincibility. Alright, well watch this. They come back and they blink white. See how he's white right now? I can't hurt him for the time being. But, when they do become available, they go down. And so do I. Excuse me. All right, so let's try Thunderstrike here. Miss, but that's okay. We're still doing very well. Eight, one, and one. Not a big deal. All right, let's get over there. Try to get us some more kills. The whole goal of Arena is to get the highest kills possible. You earn epic keys um, through Arena to open the strongest chest, the mighty chest. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating right now. <laughs> I didn't do very good on this arena run. But this was just an example to show you how it worked. So we came out on top there with 12 kills. I have a high score right now, which I am part of. I'm tied for it at high score of 24 kills. If you want to check that one out, I got a previous video. Go check that one out and you'll see some real arena gameplay. Um, but yeah, so you'll see now we'll get the rewards for arena with our 12 kills. You click next over here. So we have seven keys and 218 trophies. And trophies are how you level up in Mighty Quest in Arena. Uh, there are going to be rewards at the end of each season. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just going to be like a diamond reward. You know, you get uh, a few diamonds here and there for your rank in Arena. Uh, you spend your keys over here in the shop on these epic chests. You know what? I'll open one for you right now. We have lots of keys. I'll pop one open. Let's have a little look. See what we get. Okay. So now, immediately, we can tell this is a blue piece of gear because of the blue card back. And there you go. We got a three-star helmet. If we click on that, we can see it's a mage helmet with critical damage 8%. All right. Well, those are your basic game modes in Mighty Quest right now. There is one other game mode which was taken out recently, but will be back soon, called Keeper's Coliseum. We'll do a video on that very soon. It's the other ranked mode in Mighty Quest. It's a lot of fun. So look forward to that video. But for now, those were your basics for Mighty Quest. The biggest piece of advice I can give any new player is to join us on Discord. Click that envelope right up here. Beep. And then if you click right down there on that Discord link, you can join us. The community is super friendly, full of awesome people that will help you out 100%. I hope you enjoyed this brief introductory video <laughs> to Mighty Quest. We will have a full beginner's guide coming very soon. Until then, I'm your arena number one and clucker in chief, Sir Randerson. Peace out.